Hey guys, what happened last week for me was I had a very important event that had to do with graduation to go to, and I really honestly thought I had uh, my day covered, but there was a miscommunication and I didn't end up uh, having a, anyone to cover for me. So I'm really sorry about that, but that being said, here I am posting on Ryan's day last week's topic. Hope he doesn't get mad. I'm sure he won't. He's a very cool guy. Um, my views on life and death, and afterlife, I suppose. Um, like Lydia, I am an atheist, but unlike Lydia, I am in no way agnostic. I do believe that it's ignorant to say that I know that there's no afterlife, which is why I would I would never I would never say that. That like my core belief is that there is no afterlife. You just die, you rot in the ground, it happens to all of us, like it's just something that we need to come to terms with. Um but like that being said, the reason I, I say I'm not agnostic atheist, um, is because a, a Christian, like, I'm sure there are lots of Christians out there who would uh, openly admit that they don't know for a fact that they're going to heaven when they die. It's just their core belief, and they wouldn't consider themselves, like, agnostic Christians. I just, like, I kind of just go the other way. I'm completely atheist. I'm not, like, an antichrist. I'm not, like, evil. I just don't believe in God or anything like that. I think it's all... I I have a lot of theories as to as to um you know how the how the Bible came to be so popular. One of them is that um well basically people needed a way to control their people. Like eh, okay. Roman Catholicism wasn't like obviously it wasn't it wasn't where uh Catholicism started. It was brought to Rome. And one of the big reasons I think it caught on so well is because, you know, the, the the governing system there, you know, really needed a way to control their people. And so they spread the word about this God and this Jesus and all this stuff that's happened. And everyone started to have hope that uh, when they died, they wouldn't just, you know, disappear and things like that. Like, people started to have that hope, which which gave them something to live for. Which is great, like, it's great. Religion isn't, I'm not, I'm not anti-religion. I think it gives people something to live for. And it gives people something to believe in, and that's fine. Just because it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, match up with what I believe doesn't mean that I, I'm bothered by it, right? Like, I, okay, I have a friend, and her name is Rachel. She's actually hilarious. She's really religious. Like, she's, you know, she's Jesus freak. It's not offensive. Like, I mean that as, yeah, Jesus freak. Um... And she calls me her faithiest, as in favorite atheist. It's kind of funny because it sounds like faith. It's kind of funny. It's a little um, ironic, I guess, faithiest. I call her my fistian, and it just sounds gross, so we laugh every time. Anyway, she's awesome. So, like, I, I can get along fine with religious people. Like, I just prefer... Yeah, I just, I just don't, I just don't believe in it. Like, I just don't buy it, right? And, you know, that's okay. It's okay. Whatever everyone wants to believe is okay. And the only time it becomes a problem for me is, um, you know, when someone tries to impose their beliefs on me. Like, if someone tells me I'm going to hell because I don't believe in God, that, that really, that really pisses me off. Like, I don't, I'm, I don't go up to people and say, you're wasting your life because there is no God. Like, I would never do that. It's rude. It's rude. And, like, people, and I find that, um, a lot of people who consider, so, consider themselves atheists are really ignorant, and it bothers me that, like, atheists have a really bad rap. Like, people think of atheists as, like, people who wear black and, like, slayer t-shirts and listen to songs about maggots eating flesh, and I'm just not like that. I just... Like, simply do not believe in it. I don't, like, whatever anyone else wants to believe is fine by me. But yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't believe that there is an afterlife. I believe that you die, and you die, and you die. Like, that's it. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Bye.